Hey family, welcome back to Tavia's Encouragement and of course I am Tavia. Welcome to those who are tuning in for the first time with us. We thank you for joining in. So I have a question. Are you ready for what's about to come? Are you ready for what's about to take place? Because it's coming. It's coming. Whatever is about to take place, it's coming. It's coming sooner than you think. And if you're not prepared, and if you're not ready, I believe you will fall for anything. I really do. I will be coming from Revelation 13, verses 1 through 17. Now, mind you, there are 18 verses in that chapter. I will also be coming from the message version. But if you look at verses 1 through 16, each verse tells about a dragon and what it's going to do in the earth, what it looks like, and what it's for. But if you look at verse 16, it says that dragon will come to kill. And I guess you're figuring, come to kill what? Or come to kill who? And I guess you're wondering what that dragon could be, right? Well, in verse 17, verse 16, I apologize, verse 16. That dragon is going to come to kill. It's going to come and kill those who are not worshipping the beast. So my question is, oh, I have several other questions, right? Are you going to worship God or are you going to worship the beast? Who are you willing to die for? Because it's coming. The mark of the beast is coming. See, a lot of people don't want to talk about this. And again, I might get banned from every platform except YouTube. I'm sorry, except uh, TikTok. So I might get banned from every platform except TikTok because I don't think they like you talking about this type of stuff. But I've been struggling with this um, for a minute. You know, um, like I said, I haven't been doing videos i just been like i always say posting scriptures posting devotionals posting um you know what I, whatever i read i post and that's me right but i'm starting to come back and do videos i'm coming short shortly but slowly slowly but shortly but in verse 7 in verse 16 it talks about what that dragon comes to do. That dragon comes to kill those who don't worship the beast. But I want to know, are you going to worship God or are you going to worship the beast? Who are you going to worship? Who are you willing to die for? So the main point I want to get to in verse 17, and it talks about, what you will be able to do. Will you be able to sell? Will you be able to buy? So if you take the mark of the beast. Right. You can go ahead and you can buy and sell whatever you want. But are you going to still live for Christ and die for Christ? And don't take that mark. So the mark is either going to be in your hand. Or in your forehead. So what are you going to do? 
Whose side are you on? So that's why we have to stay strong for Christ. We have to continue to do what Christ called us to do. We have to make sure that what we say, that we're going to live for Christ and die for Christ. We have to make sure that's what we're going to stand for. Because like I said, we, we those of us that don't know, we will fall for anything. We will fall for anything. Anybody can come at us and tell us anything and we'll fall for it. And that reminds me of Eve when when Eve was in, you know, when Eve was in the garden and then a serpent came. But God told Eve not to mess with that fruit. But Eve went back and she did the total opposite. And that's what that reminds me of. Right. So what I want to say to you is if if you don't take the mark and I pray that you don't take the mark. But if you don't take the mark and you live for Christ and you stand for Christ, like you say that you're going to stand for Christ because they're going to be a great fall in the way. And it's going to be so much pressure on people that they are going to give up and they're going to say, up, oh, I'm not doing this. Right. And like I said, I don't know where this came from. I mean, I know where it came from because it came from God. But usually I don't do uh, videos like this. But I just want you to know you have to stand for Christ. And now is the time. Even though I said I don't want to do videos like this. Now is the time to get this out because we're in the time now that we have to make up in our mind that we are sure that we are going to live for God that we are going to live for God so if you're going to not take the mark and you're going to live for God Make sure you stock up because you won't be able to buy, you won't be able to sell, and you won't be able to do anything. So go store up. Go store up. Go fill some trash cans, some metal trash cans. Fill your pantry with tuna fish, any type of canned goods, some dry food, some fruit, some whatever you can because you're not going to be able to do anything. You're not going to be able to do anything. So I just want to come and I just want to say, who are you willing to sacrifice your life for? Who are you willing to sacrifice your life for? Is it God or is it that beast? Are you going to take the beast or are you going to live for Christ? So I pray that, I pray that this bless you. I pray that you take this to heart. Go back and reread Revelations 13. And again, I came out the message version. Um... Read the whole chapter. And I did skip verse 18. So I just want to know. Are you for God? Or are you for the beast? We have to prepare ourselves for what's coming. We have to get saved and get right with God. We have to live for Christ and stand for Christ. So again, if I get banned from... Any platform, mind you, I will be sending out scriptures or whatever I read on TikTok. So again, have a blessed night. Encourage someone because you don't know who needs the encouragement. Love on them. Let them know that you love them because there's a lot of people that does not hear the words, I love you. Check on your elderlies because it is hot out. And the elders in 
uh, the elders do need people to check on them. Look out for them. Take time for them. Do for them whatever you can do. So, yeah, my name is Tavia. Be blessed. And if they don't ban me, we'll talk soon. Bye.